Hello folks, I am back and this time I'm going to bring you some upgrades that I did to my 590 Shockwave. Actually, if you saw the last four of my videos that I uploaded, it's going to be on the brace that I put on there. Uh, first, let's uh, please the YouTube gods by letting them know that this is a firearm that is safe and there it is empty. As you see, there's no ammo around, and you see that this firearm is completely safe. I want to apologize in, in advance for the movement of the camera. I'm trying to get the firearm in uh, full picture frame, so I'm trying the best I can. All right, let's start with uh, start with this. If you don't know anything about uh, my previous videos when I showed the upgrades, the first one of the first upgrades I did to this was put the uh sidecar on here which they call the i had it right here a moment ago it is going to be called the tristar shotgun rail mount that's what that is so this is a mount that will actually uh hold your shells and one unique thing about this is when i'm talking about the shooting here it leaves a little bit of a gap in here we i don't I'm, I'm on a bad angle, but there is a gap in there that if you can look, you can look through this rail. I'm going to show this gap right there, this gap right here. You can look through this rail underneath and see the fiber optic front right here. So that's one of the uh, unique things about this sidecar rail. It's very durable, and I, I use this a lot to reload. Uh, the second, uh, one of the second upgrades I did was... Uh, the bird's head. Now the bird's head is not on here. I took it off. Uh, I'm going to try to get that out to you. Uh, the bird's head here. This is what was originally on the uh, on the shockwave, and I took it off. And just to show you, I did a review on. Let's see if I can pull this out here. I did a review on this rubberized grip to hold the bird's head in place when you're shooting it and it prevented uh, your hand from slipping up and getting cut on the uh, safety lever right here. So I upgraded the bird's head. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I, got, I took it off momentarily. And the last upgrade is, well, one of the last, it's going to be the TL Racker. Now the TL Racker is made by Streamlight. Try to get the box here again as I'm fumbling, fumbling around. That is not it. But the TL Racker, uh, that is a uh, nice uh, light system where you it replaces the regular uh, what you would call racking system or some people will have a corn cob version of it and where you would be able to rack another shell in here. And the cool part about it is it does have a light switch right here you can do momentarily or you can lock it now i'm on a bad angle to there you go to lock it in place here so you'll have a constant on and you can just do a momentarily uh light switch there but the but the main star to show on this one is going to be on this new um brace that i got now the brace here is from sb tactical it's the SB Tactical Model 590-SBM4 Stabilizing Brace. And what I like about this is it comes with not only the brace and the tube right here, but you have a, a grip here. Now, the grip is from uh, Ergo. I guess Ergo teamed up with SB Tactical, and they made this portion all one piece. It is very easy to install very quickly. You can take your bird's head. And it takes more than 10, or 10 minutes at the most to exchange that, 10 or 15 minutes at the most. Now, uh, why did I put this on here? One of the reasons why is because I really like the short configuration with the bird's head. But the problem is, for me, it was too unwieldy and, let's say, uh, unsafe for me to actually use that the way I wanted to use it. Yes, it's compact. Yes, it's really nice to shoot. But the problem I was having was uh, trying to keep it controlled 
under certain types of loads that I, I was using, particularly, which is probably a little crazy, and some people will probably say I am crazy for using slug rounds in this. And in the video, I did use slug rounds, but with the brace. It This brace right here makes a very big world of difference when you're shooting uh, not only slug rounds, but regular rounds through uh, through this um, uh, through the shock wave. You have more controllability, a much more of an aiming uh, ability. It, it's real. It's really a good process. Now, uh, product. Now, if you notice, I have this particular uh, brace on. There are other braces that remind you similarly of that are on AR-15s. I didn't like that brace because I was watching videos where people under recoil, especially the violent recoil from a shotgun, the brace would dip it in the back and in the shoulder. So I've seen that. So if you look at other videos, you'll see it dip it into the shoulder and it would flex. This one, there's no flex. It's this hard rubber construction here. You can put your arm through, etc. Uh, but you don't have that difference because it's a very strong and sturdy uh, brace. And I really like this brace. I'm not sure if this is the same one that they use on other AR-15s, but uh, I like this brace. This brace is really sturdy, really, really firm, absorbs recoil very well. And the grip here is very well as also. As you see, there's a little... Uh, nipple right here so it's kind of like almost like a grip right here where you have your thumb at and you could see even further here there's further indentations kind of reminds you of either a uh, either a, a, a Walther PPQ style the earlier ones or possibly the HK VP9s that's what it kind of reminds me of when you have that grip it's a rubberized a very hard rubberized grip that uh, that won't hurt the hand. It aids you with your aiming and shooting. Um, one of the things about having this grip, I ha uh, my problem was a training issue. I, if you look at the video really closely, I'm trying to shoot and I forget that there is no le lever here. Now, I'm used to shooting an AR-15 where I bring down the safety lever on the side, but that's a training issue on my part and then you saw me in a video I had to take it off safe to fire so if you see that very closely you see me right here and all of a sudden I'm, I'm I changed my hand position to uh, deal with the safety at that point to uh, get the safety off now that's a training issue so that's the only thing that is on my end that I really had to think about and that is not a negative that is on me uh, I forgot to mention that I do have a Carlson barrel. I believe they make the barrels for uh, Mossberg because this is a ported barrel. And as you see, it has the fiber optic front. That also aids with uh, recoil and to keep that um, muzzle down. So I just wanted to mention that. And if, if you saw those earlier three, uh, earlier four videos and Hopefully, uh, you'll like watching that video. I had a friend out there. She shot this with no problem, no ease with this brace on. All right, folks, that's all I have. I just wanted to give you a quick update on that. And happy shooting. Stay safe. Hashtag 2X.